The Dictionary of Lost Words weaves the story of a woman through the creation of the Oxford English Dictionary. It's a novel based on real people and events, and it's set at a really extraordinary time in history, when the women's suffrage movement was at its height and the Great War loomed. This book is about the joy of storytelling and the magic of growing up in a world of words. And at its heart is the story of a young woman, Esme, who has grown up in the scriptorium where all the words for the dictionary are being defined. She comes to realise that some words are more important than others. And she takes it upon herself to preserve women's words, words that have been neglected or discarded by the male lexicographers who are shaping the English language. I used to think dictionaries were for looking up the spelling or the meaning of words, and I never questioned their authority. Then I realised that for the first Oxford English Dictionary, the quotations on which the definitions were based were from books written almost entirely by men, and that it was men making decisions about which words would be included and which words would not. It made me think that something was probably missing, and from that idea, the whole story unfurled. The response I've had to Esme's story has really blown me away. It's headed for worldwide release, and in the UK, it will be published by The Great House that published Mark Twain and Aldous Huxley, two authors, by the way, whose work helped shape that first dictionary. But the first readers for the Dictionary of Lost Words will be in Australia and New Zealand. I hope you love the characters, real and imagined, as much as I do, and that you finish my book with a few more treasured words in your possession.